Almost all medicine in Afghanistan is imported from neighboring countries such as Pakistan, India, Bangladesh, Iran and Turkey. Since the fall of the previous regime, the medicine sector has faced a range of problems. Among them, wholesalers have been unable to complete transactions due to the limited operation of banks and prices have risen due to higher demand in a weakening of one currency. Yes, since the takeover, banks are closed for international transactions. As the banks are closed, we can't transfer payments to suppliers. If we don't transfer money to the suppliers legally, they will not be able to deliver us the medicine and prices will definitely rise. When demand is high and supply is low, the prices naturally go up. We are facing a shortage in supply of essential medicine. The number of visitors at government hospitals has increased since the change of regime. International donors have increased their focus towards government hospitals. In fact, the government hospital didn't have enough medical facilities in the past three, four years due to lengthy procurement process. In fact, we have even more visiting patients. Fortunately, we got more attention from UNICEF and the WHO, especially towards our hospital, which is a children's hospital. They didn't have enough focus in the last few years, but in the last month, they increased our medical supply. Government hospitals did not provide medicines to patients despite the continued funding in the previous regime. The head of World Health Organization is on a visit to Afghanistan. The Afghanistan medical health workers and the public believe that the situation will get better. Afghans are hopeful that the new regime will not allow corruption in the health sector. On one side, prices have increased, while on the other hand, the people have become poorer. This has affected the doctors, patients and the society. Even in the former regime, patients used to buy their medicine at the market. We used to prescribe the medicine. Patients were not provided even a single pill from the hospital. Many of the problems in the health sector have been left over from the previous regime. Wahid Majroh, the outgoing acting minister of public health, says authorities have tried to solve the issues in coordination with stakeholders, but efforts were unsuccessful. And it led us having uh, few or no supply and most of uh, our health facilities, including uh, essential medicine, uh, fuel, oxygen, uh, staff salary. We've been trying, we've been trying to work with different stakeholders to see if we can fulfill the, uh, the urgent needs, but we haven't been able uh, to do it successfully. The suspension of foreign aid has made many Afghans fear an impending health crisis. Clinics and health centers were dependent on foreign aid and their operations are now in doubt, especially in rural areas. But aid from international organizations keeps the hopes of Afghans alive. Abdul Hadi Dari, CGTN, Kabul, Afghanistan.